welcome to my channel, Susan Cooks Vegan. I'm of course Susan, and I'm gonna cook some vegan for you. The recipe I'm gonna do today is a stuffed squash. It came about because I bought a ton of pumpkins at our local pumpkin patch. So if you did too, then this recipe is perfect. Or if you're just a squash lover like me, uh, it'll be great too. So what we're gonna do is cut open this squash and stuff it with a mixture of a grain called farro. It's this delicious, nutty, um, hearty grain. It's got a really nice chew to it. Uh, if you don't have farro or perhaps you don't like it, you can use rice, wild rice, quinoa, and whatever you have. Um, you'll find this recipe is really adaptable. So with the farro, we're gonna mix all those kind of Thanksgiving stuffing ingredients. Uh, mushrooms, onions, celery, fresh cranberries, sage, oh I love sage, and uh, what else, walnuts to give it a really nice chew along with that farro. So uh, you're gonna love this, stay tuned, we're gonna make some stuffed squash. Our first step for making this roasted squash is we're gonna saute our vegetables and our farro together. It's gonna really bring out their flavor. So first we're gonna do, this is half a cup of diced up mushrooms. Now I have a blog post that tells you how to cook the perfect mushroom. But really the secret is to not touch them. Resist the urge to flip them around. Just let them sit here for a minute and just get beautiful and brown. And you can see I didn't use any oil in this pan because I have a non-stick pan and I'm going to deglaze the pan afterwards with some, some veggie stock. So um, feel free to add a little bit of oil um, if you don't have a non-stick pan. Uh, it's really up to you. And as these mushrooms are cooking, I'm going to preheat my oven to 400 degrees. So right now you might be wanting to swish them around in the pan. Don't do that. Just let it cook for a little bit longer and you will see the results. So the water is starting to come out of it. Little water droplets, that will, that's what we want. Because that will make this mushroom beautiful golden brown. So it's been about three or four minutes, so let's turn them. Oh, perfect. And you'll see, it's hard to see because they're pieces, but they're beautiful. They're beautifully golden brown. I don't know if you can see that in the camera, let me see. Uh, but trust me, they are, and that's what you want. It really develops that mushroom flavor that we want in this stuffing. So next we're gonna add about a third of a cup of walnuts. We're just gonna cook these briefly. We don't, we just want them to get a little toasted, um, just get the, the oil's heated a little bit. And these we want to toss. And the next goes in, this is half a white onion, diced up. Let me get that piece well enough. And here's where we can add a little bit of salt, just a little sprinkle. It'll help get the moisture out of the vegetables. And a little bit of pepper. You always want to season your food, guys, at every step. It's very important for flavor development. Oh, it smells beautiful. Oh, I'm so excited for these. And this is a quarter cup of celery. It's about two stalks of celery. And our fresh cranberries. You can absolutely use dried if that's what you have, not a problem. I just adore fresh. I think they're so yummy. So that there was about a third of a cup. Oh, so beautiful. And they're really good for you too. They're really good for um, your digestive tract or your urinary tract. All us women know that. 
<laughs> and they're full of antioxidants. Oh, it smells so good. So now we're gonna add our farro. Just, this is pre-cooked. Uh, so you'll wanna pre-cook whatever grain you're using. This is about for two large squash. Generally, use about a cup of grain per squash, but you can, every squash is different size. You can, you know, sort of gauge how much stuffing you would want um, by the size of the squash. So, so generally about a cup per squash, but if you have those little tiny ones, you might want to do half a squash. Just sort of use your judgment. And this is my fresh sage. Oh, it's gonna be so good. The smells delicious and I'm gonna do a little bit more salt just on top of here oh it smells so good all right oh it smells like Thanksgiving and Christmas and oh so good <laughs> All right, that's all these need because they're gonna be baked in the oven. So we just wanna cook them on the stove just to bring out the flavor of it before we stuff the squash. But let's get stuffing. to show you what the rice stuffing looks like and you know what this would be great even on its own if you don't want to stuff a pumpkin or a squash this would be great just as a side dish or instead of, of stuffing or heck as a main dish like this is delicious so there you go but we're making stuffed squash so let's get stuffing what I'm gonna do first, this is completely optional if you are oil free, is I'm just gonna brush the outsides with just a little bit of um, canola oil. It's just gonna help get these a little bit more golden. And if your pumpkins are rolling around, cut um, the bottom off so they sit on your baking tray. It's just a little trick. So, so these big pumpkins are for Randy and I. And this little one is for Carrington. She's gonna get her own little baby pumpkin. So I made the recipe a little bit bigger just for mine, just to give her a little pumpkin. Cause she's gonna love it, so cute. Okay, so, and then of course we're gonna cook the little tops. And these might burn, if you can see it. Uh, let's see, these might burn. So I'm just gonna make a little kind of hat for them out of tin foil. <laughs> just to cover it this is optional but i'm just going to cover them with a little bit of tin foil because i think the tops are cute and i don't want them to burn so we're just gonna cover them up so we can cook those too okay so now we just take a spoon So pretty and again like I said you know you don't have to um, fill the whole squash like I'm doing you could cut it in half that's totally fine just makes for a little bit smaller serving and um, maybe it's your appetizer so you don't want to have this whole this whole squash but I just think it looks really cute especially these smaller pumpkins they look really cute filled all the way to the top The best thing about this is if you make too much stuffing, it's perfect for lunch tomorrow. It is so good. This would even be good in a wrap or on some greens, just as is, as a cold salad would be good. Don't worry about the little bits that are falling. Not a big deal. Right, let's get it all stuffed and push it in because I like extra stuffing. More the merrier. So, oh, that looks so pretty. Do you see this little guy? Look how pretty that looks. Okay, 
So we're gonna bake this. I have my oven preheating at 400. So I'm going to um, cover them in a little bit of tin foil, just so the tops don't burn. And then I'll take it off um, halfway through cooking. So these are gonna bake. It depends on the size of your squash. Uh, they can bake anywhere, you know, between 45 minutes and an hour. But this little squash here, I'm gonna watch and take out first because obviously it's smaller. It's gonna cook, cook a bit faster. So if you have, if you have your squash are, are a little bit different sizes, you're gonna wanna note that. All right, so these guys are ready for the sauna. Stay tuned. For watching me make my stuffed squash recipe if you make this recipe let me know send me a photo um, drop me a line or a comment I'd love to hear from you guys if you have any questions about this recipe or any other recipe shoot me an email write a comment I will answer you and yeah like always subscribe to my channel and like this video so you don't miss out on any upcoming videos and until next time, happy cooking, you guys. It was so nice having you.